This volume uh, is just simply titled Miscellaneous, and it's one of those exciting discoveries that you sometimes find, very rarely, but when you do, they're very exciting. This is a volume of pamphlets that's been kept together by one family over about 150, 200 years. You see they're all different sizes. And at the front, there is a little edition of the tragedy of Othello, the Moor of Venice. It's published in 1655, and 1655 is the middle of the English Civil War when all the theatres had been ordered to be closed. And uh, because they were shut, uh, there's an element of sort of uh, surreptitious publication about this. There's not really any reason why you would buy a play text unless you'd seen the play. And you wouldn't be able to see it in a theatre, you'd probably see it in a private room. After the, um, the restoration of Charles II, the restoration of the monarchy, uh, the theatres were allowed to open again and they quickly became popular again. Um, it's almost as if there was pent-up demand. But even more exciting is the cast list that we have facing the title page here. It's on a, a different piece of paper. It's not part of the original uh, printing of Othello. And the cast list includes some of the most famous names of the Restoration Theatre. It's got Thomas Betterton in the title role of Othello. Of course, the big change in Restoration Theatre is that you get female actresses playing the female parts. So you get Anna Bracegirdle here, who's playing Desdemona. There's Mrs Knight, that's Frances Maria Knight, one of the uh, better actors of the next uh, decade. Now, Othello, of course, is the great uh, tragedy of, of jealousy. It's about uh, Iago, or Jago as he was probably meant to be pronounced, uh, working on Othello, working on his suspicions about his wife Desdemona until finally he murders her in a jealous rage and then takes his own life. That is in essence the story. So we have Mr Mountfort playing Cassio. In December 1692 he was murdered. And he was murdered in a, in a plot that really bears very strong resemblance to the events of Othello. We have Anne Bracegirdle, who's an incredibly popular actress. She was the most popular actress of her time. And a man called Captain Richard Hill imagined that she was in love with William Mountfort. And he wanted her for himself. He attempted to abduct her. William Mountfort came along and Captain Hill stabbed him, murdered him. I mean, this is an extraordinary coincidence. The, the fact that the, the elements of the play are reenacted in real life with this very specific cast of names, it, it brings you really, it sort of uh, gives you, uh, you know, hairs go up on the back of your neck. The parallel between that and the events in Othello are, of course, that Desdemona is murdered by the jealous Othello. Right at the end, that's the climax of the, of the play. He murders her and then he commits suicide in, in horror at what he's done. So Mountfort is murdered in ex for exactly the same reason, for jealousy, probably unfounded. It doesn't seem as if uh, Anne Bracegirdle and William Mountfort were having an affair. So it's, it's completely made up by Captain Hill. And he had an accomplice um, on that night in December 1692, who was Lord Mohan. Captain Hill ran away. He ran away to the Isle of Wight and escaped scot-free. But Lord Mohan was brought to the House of Lords in one of the most notorious trials of that era. It was a scandal. Many of the people in the cast list gave evidence. Uh, Mrs Knight gave evidence, for example. She'd been a witness that night. She was a friend of Anne Bracegirdle's. So she gave evidence. Various other people gave evidence. Some of them changed their evidence. And Lord Mohan got off scot-free. And there's another little human detail that I really like, is that William Mountfort, after his death, his widow, Mrs Mountfort, married the actor playing Rodrigo in the play, Mr. Alexander, and that was his stage name. His real name was John Verbruggen. So Mrs. Mountfort, the widow Mountfort, married John Verbruggen. And that, all these details date that so, so closely to the most notorious murder trial of that time. This is a piece of theatrical history. It's, a, it's one piece in the jigsaw that tells us about the performance of Shakespeare during the Restoration era.